Well, here you are, depressed dog. Your new gift. This is just a bunch of uh, this is just a bunch of clothes and an iPad. Uh, how would you call that a gift, Funship Freddy? Oh, hold on. Uh, let me move that stuff out of the way. Here's your new present: an alarm clock. An alarm clock. Uh, why did you give me an alarm clock? Since I heard you were going to be going to a fun trip to Disney World tomorrow morning, I decided to give you an alarm clock so you would know what time you want to get up. And of course, since I heard you want to get up at 8 o'clock to go there, I've set the alarm to 8 o'clock in the morning. Or, you, could make it, you can make it earlier if you want, if you still haven't finished packing. Well, I guess that's nice of you, Fun Ship Freddy. I might take that into consideration. Well, then good night. Wait, he's going to bed? But it's like 7.40! Huh, he must like to have 12 hour sleeps. Ah, who knows. I'm gonna go have me some fun! Three hours later! Oh, I hate my life. I hate everybody. Squawk! 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 Honey, I thought you were divorced with me. Ah! Uh, Paco, what are you doing here? Squawk! I just wanted to annoy you because I'm a parent! Squawk! 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 Uh, I'm gonna someday pluck that guy's feathers out. Uh, anyway, back to sleep. Uh, honey, I'm glad we divorced. Three hours later. Back up, wife. I, I thought I already told you a million times that we're not getting back together again. <laughs> okay, seriously, I'm gonna slap you so hard at. Brat? What do you want? So you're telling me you had a nightmare, so uh, you want to sleep with me tonight? How does a big thing like you have nightmares? I mean, seriously. Yes, you can sleep in here, I guess. Okay, now I have to get back in the covers again and uh, sleep. Uh, Brad, you go to sleep too. Uh, Ex-wife, I really want to do some bad things to you. Three hours later... <laughs> hey everybody, we're having a big party tonight! Woohoo! Oh my god, calm down, Pratt. I heard that noise too, who the heck said that? Well, it's me, of course, the cat in the hat. So, are you guys ready for my 4 o'clock in the morning party? Why would you want to have a party at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning? I mean, like, I've only gotten, like, 9 hours of sleep. Well, 9 hours of sleep seems good enough with me. Come on, let's party like it's 2003. The year my best movie came out. Woohoo! <laughs> So then I asked the bartender, do you know what a cat's favorite alcoholic drink is? And he said, no, what? And I said, whiskers! <laughs> that was such a horrible joke. What do you think, Brad? <laughs> you actually find this stuff funny? Oh my gosh. Now it's time to play a game of pin the tail on Ryolu. Why was I chosen as the donkey? All right. Um, Sprat, your turn first. <laughs> yes, Brad, I know he has a tail already, but hey, why not give him two tails? You do realize the whole idea for two tails came from me, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that, Tails? I can't hear you over the sound of how awesome my original idea is. Yeah, Ryulu! Oh my gosh, what? Quit hugging me. Oh, yes, partying is fun. Three hours later... Beep, 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 beep. Oh, uh, guys, it's 8 o'clock. I gotta go to Disney World. Not so fast, depressed dog. What? We can have our very own Disney World here. Just ask Mickey Mouse. La, 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 la. Hey! Depressed dog! I thought you said you were gonna go to my amusement park! I was going to, Mickey Mouse, but this, uh, excuse for a cat was trying to have me do a party and stuff, and it's making me really depressed and making me really want to go to Disney World so bad. Well, don't worry, Depressed dog! You don't have to listen, listen to that cat! Oh my gosh, a mouse! I love mice! Ah! Ah! I must eat you! 
Hey, I want to go to Disney World so bad, I'm so depressed. Heh, <laughs> what do you know? It's an analogy. Cats at attack mice, dogs attack cats, but who attacks dogs? Dog catchers. Oh yeah, that. But then the question is, who attacks uh, the dog catchers? PETA? Yeah, probably. And the bigger question is, who attacks PETA? Nobody attacks PETA. I guess they're unstoppable. Uh, not when Captain America does something about it. Captain America away!